Hi everybody, my name is Mark Swoveland and I'm here to show you um, our inquiry design model lesson plan for the beginning of year for Texas history. Um, so this lesson plan is really built to drive a couple of things in your classroom. We're really looking to do something that helps build your classroom community early on, drives engagement, um, and allows kids to kind of see themselves in Texas history. And the benefit of kind of doing all this through the IDM framework is we're kind of prepping our kids for some of the lessons that are gonna come down the pipeline later in the year. So this lesson is called Texas Connections. And like I said, um, the idea is how can we get kids to realize that you are Texas? We come from a lot of diverse campuses, so we're really hoping that the engagement our students have in this lesson show them that they really make up the diversity that is Texas. And um, we're pretty excited about that part of it. So quickly, I'm gonna go through the inquiry design model framework. So you can see down here on the lesson plan, there is some more information about that if you would like to open it up. But an inquiry design model lesson basically is gonna ask the students a series of questions that allow them to explore the topic on their own. So it's much more um, student-driven learning. This lesson does not utilize primary or secondary sources like some of the other IDM lessons do, but instead focuses on the students themselves. So if you take a look at the lesson plan, you can see up here at the top, we've got a lot of resources for you. So there are a set of teacher directions. So you might use these to kind of um, walk through the activity with your class. There are a set of printable worksheets. We're not really sure if you're gonna have technology since this is the beginning of the year. So you can go ahead and print out these worksheets if you would like. Um, you can see that, uh, what else do we have in there? And then I guess just the descriptions of the tests. Oh, there's also a rubric in here, which you're gonna use to grade your students' assignments. So the teaching strategy is divided into several different inquiry places, I guess. Uh, they're really gonna ask the students an essential question and then work through an activity. So the first question, um, what comes to mind when you think of Texas, students will do a post-it note activity where they will describe them some things about Texas. And then as a class, you can decide whether that is fact or fiction. Uh, the second question is going to be looking at what symbols the students believe represent them. And they're gonna be making a family crest. So you can um, have students draw or insert images on Google Slides. Um, the technology allows you to be pretty flexible in that. And mostly you're trying to get the kids to think of themselves here. So like I mentioned, this is a very accessible lesson to all of your students, which we thought was important since it's the beginning of the year. There's no real reading involved. You can have a lot of discussion um, and just individual introspection. So the second one is your performance task number two. And this is looking at how symbols, how the symbol, individual symbols make up a larger community. So students will share their family crest with each other, and then they will fill out a bingo card that's gonna identify some elements of culture. So it'll, like, it'll look at language, food, and customs. After students have made that connection, we're gonna take that and look at how symbols and culture are integrated into a larger society. So in this case, Texas. Um, and again, the students will do another post-it note activity. They'll put those post-it notes up on the board and then you're going to have the students move around to um, categorize or sort them. And ideally, you'll, the students will make some connections with each other as they're doing this so that they can see um, kind of how they fit into the larger community. Um, then the students will fill out a symbol map. Um, again, this is a pretty simple exercise. It shouldn't take a lot of time. The final performance week task we have is also called the argument. And this is looking at kind of the beginning question that we led with. So how have different groups maintained their culture as they came to Texas? So here students are going to take um, what they've thought about and do a short answer. So there is a little bit of writing and there are four questions that they will look through. So the first question is, is your Texas about cowboy hats and tumbleweeds? And the idea behind this is that students realize that a lot of the stereotypes we have of Texas don't fit our modern reality. And it'll lead them through a couple um, questions after that.